Hello there and thank you for joining me once again and this time around I'm going to tie you up a soft tackle pattern and this is a sulfur soft tackle it's a pattern that I come up with myself and it's a good soft tackle pattern when the sulfurs are hatching and it also makes a good imitation for the emerging stage so I thought you might like to see this guy tied this time around so I'll get him a device a fresh hook in and I'll get started here now the hook I'm using is a Mustad 3399 in a size 12. Okay, 12 is the largest size that I tied in. I go from a 12 down to about a 16. Okay, and the thread I'm using is Danville 6 aught and it's a sort of a sulfur yellow color. So first thing we'll do is start a thread base down. Right behind the eye we'll start the thread. And right back towards the barb here. And I'll snip off that tag end. Okay, and the tail is some natural partridge fibers, partridge feather fibers here. And you don't want too many. Just keep the tail fairly sparse. So I'll pull some of those off here. Get them ready to tie on. Okay, and I want the tail to be about hook shank length. So I'll tie that on right on top here. Okay, now I'm going to wrap down the bend a little bit on this guy. Just one more wrap should do it right about there. Okay. Next, the rib on this is a fine gold wire here. So I have a piece here to tie in. And I'll catch that underneath here. And we'll wrap back to just in front of our tail. Then I'm going to wrap that all down, wrapping forward. And we'll stop there. Okay. Now, the dubbing all depends on the uh, color of the sulfurs in your area. The dubbing I'm using is a blend that I made up myself to match the naturals that hatch where I fish. It's sort of a in between an orange and a yellow sulfur color. So I'll get some wax on the thread here. And we'll begin to form a nice skinny noodle here. We don't want too thick of a noodle at all. I'll keep it very nice and sparse for this particular pattern. Although we'll try to achieve a taper as we're dubbing the body up here, a slight taper, so we'll go back first. Start right in front of that tail. And we're going to begin to wrap forward. Okay, a little more wax. And we'll dub some more dubbing on here. Just a little pinch at a time is best. I'm going to try to put too much on the thread at once. That's the key. Okay. As you can see, we're getting a little bit of taper there. And a tad bit more. Should finish that for us. Okay. Some more on here. And I think that should wrap it up. Go on this little bit forward here okay that looks good now let's trim out a few of them real long guard hairs out the way there there we go now I take our wire and we'll counter wrap that just wrap the opposite direction and I don't know probably five to six wraps you'll get there and bring that around tie that off a couple wraps behind and I'll just simply fold back on that, lock it in, helicopter that off. Alrighty. So we have our tail and body on there. So good. Next step, I'm gonna take a some more partridge fibers here off the partridge shackle feather here. And I'm going to pull a small amount off, not too many. Okay, just like so, just pull those off. And what I'm going to do is tie those in right underneath here, 
just like you'd be tying a beard on a wet fly. And I'm just gonna come up between my fingers and pull straight up. Then wrap back, and that's a little long, so I'm gonna pull back on it a ways. All right, and I'm gonna take my thumb and just spread those around a little bit on the bottom, so they're spread out, just like so. Okay, then I'm gonna come in and snip the excess off here at the, behind the eye. Alrighty, and we'll secure those down. Okay, that's what you're looking for right there. Just sort of a little, little beard on the bottom of partridge fibers. Now, what I'm going to do next is take a light dun gray hen hackle, and I got the hackle fiber stroke back here. This is the uh, soft hackle part of the fly here. So now I'm going to tie that tip in. Catch that in there. A couple wraps, and I'm going to wrap back on it. Then I'm going to come in and just pull that little tip off and make a few more wraps back. Okay. Alrighty, now we're going to wrap this in. We don't want no more than three wraps on this fly. That should be plenty. Three wraps is what I usually put on it. So, stroke the fibers back as I go. Okay, this will make two. And we'll come up around. I think I'll tie that off right there. That's plenty right there. Okay. Alrighty. So I'll make a couple more securing wraps here. Then what I'll do is fold everything back. And begin to form the head a little bit here. Then what I'm going to do is reach in and grab that hackle stem and pull that off. And there we have it. It's a done deal. I'm just going to tidy the head up a little bit here and do a whip finish and we're finished. So, get four or five turns here on the whip finish. Pretty simple pattern to tie, but it's quite effective when the softwares are out and about. So I thought you might like to see this one tied. And we'll do our whip finish. I'll snug that down. Come in and snip off that excess thread there. And there he is. Another size 12 sulfur soft tackle. So, one more step. What you know I always do to finish off my flies on the head is put some solar res bone dry on there. And we'll just go around the thread wraps there, all the way around. Just a nice thin coat on this guy. Alrighty, bring in my light and cure it up real quick. Doesn't take too long. Okay. And there we go. So, I hope you can uh, give this guy a tie and add a few to your box. If you have solvers that hatch in your area, Give this one a try. So, until next time, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And if, if you'd like to, go ahead and hit that good old subscribe button. I'd appreciate that a great deal. And uh, until next time, happy tying, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon, folks. So long for now.